Good morning, Visioneers. Welcome back to the Workshop of Wonders for our last day together. Let's make it a day to remember. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Visioneers. Hi, Rivet. Wow, you're bright and early this morning. You know it. We carpenter ants are up before dawn and radio. Thanks for helping me make the curtains. I love the things we can do together. Yeah, the wildly wonderful, super duper, uber cool, wonderful workshop of wonders. Wow, you really know that theme song, Rivet. I'm still struggling with all the actions, but I'm so glad that you like the curtains. Did I hear you say this was our last day at the workshop? Yes, I did say that. Well, that makes me sad. Me too. I'm going to miss this all so much. The creating and singing. Yes, but... but the Rivet. laughing and learning. But Rivet... <laughs> all the new additions to my house. Rivet, I know you're going to miss the Visioneers. So am I. But there's some good news. What good news? The good news is that friendship doesn't go away. It doesn't? No, it doesn't. Even though we might be sad to see our... No, we might not see our Visioneers tomorrow or the next day, we'll still care about them. Besides, we're going to see them all again on Sunday during our special VBS worship service. Too true, Sandy. And I'm sure that all of our visioneers will still care about us, too. Isn't that right, visioneers? You can nod your heads, yes. Does that make you feel better, Rivet? A little bit. Good enough to go observe Dr. Wow and Sam one more time? I'm on it. See you later. Okay. Bye, Rivet. I can hardly wait to see the contraption that they have been building all week. But while we wait, we have some things to do. Today is the last day that we're going to collect our offering for the Sunflower House. So I've got my container. It's really getting heavy now. I bet yours is too. And today's offering, it could be a coin or it could be a piece of paper. It's a dollar. So put your offering in your container. And remember that on Sunday, we're going to bring all of our offering together in our mission parade when we drive through the parking lot and collect everything. And then we'll have to let you know. We'll send you an email and let you know how much we collected. But I have some exciting news. We received word yesterday that we have an anonymous donor, which means somebody who we don't even know who it is, who said they are going to give just as much as we all give. So whatever we give, they're going to give that much too. We're going to give twice as much offering to the Sunflower House. And that's really exciting news. So put your offering together and remember to put it in your bag today. And now it is time for some music. So let's get on our feet with Melody Maker and sing. Good morning, Visioneers. How's everybody doing out there? Can you believe it's our last morning together? Oh, gosh. Okay, we have one more new song to learn. And then, of course, we'll do our favorite Workshop of Wonder song later. But this song today is called Your Grace is Enough. And some of you might have heard this song before. But for those of you who haven't heard it, we'll go over the words. And just like always, we'll learn it in two parts. So we'll learn part of the words now and then part of the words later. Okay, so your grace is enough. Starts off like this. You're going to do some clapping. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Oh, God. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough, oh God. And then you repeat that. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough, oh God. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough, oh God. Great is your faithfulness, oh God. Great is your faithfulness, oh God. So you're going to pump your hands up like that. And then the sign for God you put your hand straight up in the air and bring it down to the side of your face. So let's do that one again. Great is your faithfulness, O oh God. Great, Great is your, your faithfulness, O oh God. You wrestle with the sinner's heart. You, you wrestle, wrestle with, with the sinner's heart. heart. For that one, you grab your hand like you're wrestling with your hand. You wrestle with the sinner's heart. You, you wrestle, wrestle with the sinner's heart. heart. You lead us by still waters. 
you lead, lead us, us by still waters into mercy into mercy and nothing can keep us apart and, and nothing can, can keep us apart so remember your people so remember, remember your people remember your children remember, remember your, your children. children remember your promise O oh god Remember, remember your, your promise, promise oh God. God. For remember, you're tapping the side of your head. So then we go into, we're going to roll up. Your grace is enough. Your, your grace, grace is, is enough. enough. Your grace is enough. Your, your grace is enough. enough. Your grace is enough your for grace. me. Your, your grace is enough for me. me. Awesome. Let's put that much together with our video.
Hey, Visioneers, I'm almost at the lab. Sandy, is the ant cam on the screen? Um, give us just a second. I think we're ready. Hello, Rivet. We've been waiting for you. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Visioneers. The contraption is just about ready. We're looking for one more part. We need a weight suspended by strings that we can twist up and let spin. What about a shoe? Gesundheit. No, a shoe. Gesundheit. Doc, the thing you wear on your foot. Oh, a shoe. A shoe could serve as the weight. And the laces could be the strings. Ooh, let's use mine. Ah, oh, Doc, when's the last time you changed your socks? I don't know. What month is it? Go ahead and put that back on. Besides, it's too big. So is my shoe. Um, Rivet, can we borrow one of your shoes? Thanks. You're right, Sam. This is better. Thank you, Rivet. I'll go put this in place, and the contraption should be ready. Thanks, Sandy and Visioneers, for spending part of each session with us. We're so excited to show you the contraption. And don't worry, Rivet. I'll make sure you get your shoe back. Everything's ready. I think you should be the one to start it. Oh, you'll pull this string right here. Oh, but wait. Let's have a countdown. 199, 98. Whoa, whoa, no Doc. Huh? Why are you starting from 100? That'll take forever. I thought I was building suspense. Anyway, let's start with 10 then. Sandy, Visioneers, join us. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4 3, 3, 2, 1, go! That was so cool. You know what my favorite part was? Hearing you say wow. Really? Really. It makes me so happy to see you full of wonder because of some ordinary objects. It's not just the ordinary objects, Doc. It's what you did with them. It's what we did with them. We imagined it and we built it together. Can we build another one? I imagine so. Sandy, Visioneers, we have more imagining and building ahead of us. Thanks for coming to observe us. It's been an honor. Bye, Sandy. Bye, Visioneers. Rivet, let's go get your shoe. <laughs> Bye, Sam. Bye, Dr. Wow. That was really cool. I loved the way that Dr. Wow and Sam imagined and built that contraption together all week long. That was really great. Visioneers, Sandy, did you see that amazing contraption? <laughs> we did. I liked how Dr. Wow and Sam worked on it together all week. I was just saying that. I think that working together like that helped them enjoy today even more. <laughs> I think you're right. In fact, our wonder words are about that kind of togetherness. The togetherness that comes from eating ice pops super fast? Exactly. Can I tell our visioneers today what today's wonder words? Better yet, let's tell them together. On the count of three. One, two, three. Walk, Walk with, with God. God. Gear up. Now, at home, you have to stand up to do our action for today. Because we're going to walk in place. 
So I will say, or we will say, walk with God, and you're going to say, gear up. Let's try it. Walk with God. Gear Gear up. up. Now, you know what we're going to do. It's been five days of wonder words. We're going to say them one last time. So I'm going to say the wonder words, and Rivet and Visioneers at home, you can do the actions and say, gear up. So here we go. Imagine with God. Gear Gear up. Build with God. Gear Gear up. up. Grow with God. Gear Gear up. up. Work with God. Gear Gear up. up. Walk with God. Gear Gear up. up. Whew. That really made me work up an appetite. Me too. So what would be your perfect snack, Rivet? Hmm. I kind of like anything I can carry. I like bread a lot and grapes, bananas, potato salad, you know, picnic food. Why do you ask? Oh, I was curious. I mean, there's one thing that I know you'll really enjoy, and I was hoping that we could enjoy eating them together after VBS. Sounds delicious. What is it, Sandy? Ice pops. Just like the ones in Dr. Wow and Sandy were eating yesterday. They're in the freezer just waiting for us. I can hardly wait. Would you like me to go see what's happening at the Bible Nook today? I would. I have really enjoyed the different stories that BA1 and BA2 have been telling. All right, I'll head over. Get the monitor ready, Miles. Bye, everyone. Bye, Rivet. Well, you know what that means. We're going to sing some more with Melody Maker and learn the rest of our song. Okay, while we wait for Rivet to get to the Bible nook, let's learn the rest of our song. (laughs) Great is your love and justice, God. Great Great is is your your love love and and justice, justice, God. God. You use the weak to lead the strong. You You use the the weak weak to lead the strong. strong. You lead us in the song. You lead us in the song of your salvation, of your salvation, and all your people sing along, and all your people sing along. Then we go back to what we learned before. So remember your people. So remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your children. Remember your promise, O God. Remember your promise, O God. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Your grace is enough for me. Then we repeat it. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Your grace is enough for me. So remember your people. So remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your children. Remember your promise, O God. Remember your promise, O God. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Your grace is enough for me. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Your grace is enough for me. Then it ends just like it began with a little bit of clapping. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough, O God. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough, O God. You'll repeat that and then end with a rock star move of, O God. Okay? Make sure you take some pictures while you guys are dancing today. We would love to see it. And here we go with the video.
was great. So good. Thank you, Melody Maker. Hey, Sue, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, Rivet. Today's story is so cool. It's about two ants walking on an ant trail with a stranger. Really? Yeah, it's really cool. Bible Adventure 1 is going to a town called M. M uh... Emmaus? Yeah, that's it. That sounds great. Let's watch. Good morning, visioneers. Have you ever dressed up in a disguise or a costume so that nobody knew who you were? I don't know if you've already figured this out, but it's me, Katie, Bible Adventurer 1. And this costume is a little uncomfortable, so. Today, we're going to talk about three people on a long walk. One of those people was a mystery man. We'll learn more about him in a few minutes. But first, who wants to answer a question? All right, here's the first question, and I want you to say the answer out loud. Are you ready? Here it is. What's your name? Did you get the question right? Pretty easy question, huh? Okay, let's answer another question. Are you ready? How many fingers am I holding up? Did you get it right? Was it three? One more question. All right. I bet you're thinking to yourself that these are some pretty easy questions, aren't you? Okay, so here's the next question. What happens inside a computer to make it work? What? You don't know? Hey, guess what? I don't know what happens inside a computer either. That's a really hard question. Was it unfair to ask such a hard question? I bet you ask hard questions all the time. So, this session's Bible story is all about questions and answers. It takes place after Jesus was raised from the dead. Some of his followers had seen that he had come back to life, but others hadn't. They had lots of questions running through their heads. And as our story begins, two disciples have begun walking from the big city of Jerusalem to the small town of Emmaus. Historians aren't exactly sure where Emmaus was, but they estimate that it would have taken several hours to get there. So two followers of Jesus were walking to a town called Emmaus. Pull out your walking fingers and pretend to be those disciples. Now, as they were walking along, they were talking about all that had happened with Jesus. What did all the stories of Jesus mean? As they walked, a man started walking with them. They didn't know it, but the man was Jesus. The disciples didn't recognize him. Now, he wasn't wearing a disguise like I was at the start of this session, but for some reason they didn't recognize him. Some people think it's because they thought that Jesus was dead, and so they weren't expecting to see him. So that might be why they didn't recognize him. But Jesus asked them, what are you talking about as you walk along? Well, it was hard to believe that anyone wouldn't have heard all the news about Jesus. Everyone had been talking about it. They told the man about Jesus. How Jesus taught the people, told stories, and performed miracles like healing people and walking on water. Then they told the man how Jesus died. They even told him how women from their group came back from the empty tomb saying Jesus was alive. Even as they were telling the man all this, they didn't recognize him as Jesus. The disciples knew all the facts, but they still had lots of questions. It's kind of like how I can tell you what my name is and how many fingers I'm holding up, but I can't explain how a computer works. Then something wonderful happened. Jesus began to explain everything. Jesus answered all their questions why God sent Jesus to us, how all the scriptures fit together to tell the story of Jesus, and how people are to live. The two disciples and Jesus walked and talked and walked and talked until they came to the town of Emmaus. They invited Jesus to have dinner with them. He agreed, and they sat down to have dinner. When Jesus broke the bread, all of a sudden, they recognized him. Then. Just as suddenly, 
he was gone. Now they understood. No wonder this man could explain everything. It's because he was Jesus. What amazing good news. The two men jumped right up and hurried back to Jerusalem to tell the other disciples what they had seen and heard. Today is our last day at the Workshop of Wonders, and we have learned so many great and powerful stories here in our virtual Bible Nook. If you will head on over to the virtual Bible Nook and click here on the Kahoot sign, you will be taken to a short Kahoot quiz about the stories that we've done this week. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It should be fun and a fun way to just review what we've learned, and you'll get to see how your friends did on the quiz as well. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your Bible adventurer number one this week. I've had a great time, and I can't wait to see you all in person again someday, too. Have a great summer, and thanks for attending our Workshop of Wonders. Hey, Visioneers, wasn't that a great story BA1 told us? It was about taking a walk. I love to take walks. In fact, I brought my backpack and it's got some things that will keep me as I go along on my walk. I even have some leftover bread from yesterday. So I'm going to put that in my backpack and get ready for the walk. I hope you get a chance to walk too because it's a lot of fun. And we're going to take a look now at the second way we learned this story. Here we go. The Holy Tales Hi all, my name is Tabby. I live in this big library with my friends Gumbo and Freckles. I love to eat books. Over there on the Bible is Holy. She is really old and wise and tells us wonderful stories from the Bible. She loves to sleep. And whenever we have to listen to a story, we have to wake her up with a song. Sleeping? Who is sleeping? I have already thought about the story that I'm going to tell you today. It is about how Jesus met his disciples after they had risen from death. Yay! Another story about Jesus! Okay, so one day, two of Jesus' disciples were on their way home from Jerusalem to a village called Emmaus. Jesus had already risen from the dead. As the men walked, they were talking about the terrible things that had happened in the last few days. Suddenly, Jesus himself came up and started walking next to them. But somehow, the two men did not recognize him. What are you discussing that makes you so sad? Jesus asked them. Haven't you heard? They replied. Jesus of Nazareth. The one we believed was the promised Messiah has been put to death. Jesus shook his head. Why don't you want to believe everything the prophet told you would happen? Didn't they say that the Messiah should suffer and then be glorified? Then beginning with the story of Moses and the other prophets, Jesus explained to them all the passages in the scripture that referred to him. When they reached Emmaus, the two disciples invited Jesus to have supper with them. When they sat down to eat, Jesus took the bread, blessed it and gave it back to them. Suddenly at that moment, the disciples recognized him. Jesus had however disappeared by then. Immediately the two men returned to Jerusalem to tell the other disciples the wonderful news. How could they not recognize Jesus? Bread! I want bread! Tabby, you can go and eat only if you answer my question. What is the question? The question is, where were the two men going? 
Yes, I know. They were going to a mouse. Close. It was Emmaus. <laughs> Now you may go and eat. Thank you, Holy, for the lovely story. We shall be back soon. Bye bye. Bye, children. The Holy Tales. Well, just like BA1, I've really enjoyed being here this week as your Bible Adventurer 2, BA2. And I hope to see you Sunday when we celebrate Vacation Bible School. Have a great day. Bye. Let's give BA1 and BA2 a wow face. Wow, they have been so great and made our Vacation Bible School so fun. What a week it has been. Our friend Dr. Wow and his assistant Sam worked together all week to create an amazing contraption from all kinds of ordinary things, the kind of stuff you just have around the house. We've been singing and dancing some awesome songs with Melody Maker. She needs a wow face. Let's say, wow, thank you, Laura. Our Bible adventures told amazing stories from the Bible about ordinary people who God helped to do extraordinary things. I think maybe we should give God a wow face. Wow, thank you, God. And our science and our craft teachers, wow, they really showed us how to do some really cool experiments and make some beautiful pieces of art from ordinary stuff at home. And our wonder words reminded us that we can imagine, we can build, we can grow, we can work, and we can walk with God. And of course, there's Rivet. I mean, what can I say about Rivet? We couldn't have done any of this without Rivet, who traveled through all of those tunnels with that Ant Cam 3000 ready to capture it all. Nobody worked harder than Rivet. Aw, gee, thanks, Sandy. <laughs> It's been so much fun. Yeah, you are welcome. You know what? I think before we go, we should sing our theme song, don't you, Rivet? That would be super duper uber cool. Come on, Melody Maker, let's hit it. <laughs> All right, you heard Rivet, let's hit it. One more time with our Workshop of Wonders theme song. That's so much fun. But you know what? Before we say goodbye and do our closing prayer, I have some really good news for you. Our VBS time here is through, but you have all day. You can go to the craft site and the science site. You can go back to the Bible nook and do all of those activities. And then you can come back and celebrate with us on Sunday morning during our online worship service. Remember, you can join us on Sunday on Facebook and Zoom. If you have any questions about that, go to our website, gcpc.org, and we will get you there. 
Check your daily email for details about all that's happening today and all of the things that we need to pick up for our Sunflower House donations. But on Sunday, we're going to come back together and sing and pray and visit with Rivet one more time. But before we go, we need to pray. So Rivet, why don't you lead us again? I'm on it. Bow your head or read along on the screen. Let's pray. God, God lead us in the way you would have us go. go. Help, Help us to remember that you are with us each day with every step we take. Help us to love you, to imagine with you, build with you, grow with you, work with you, and walk with you. In the name go. Bless our food, bless our friendships, and, and walk, walk with, with us always. always. Amen. Amen.